first of all, uh, a review of our game against Tennessee State. Uh, we had a first shutout since uh, 2006. Uh, they're rare. Uh, there probably had not been many, if any, in the conference. Uh, it's hard to keep somebody to zero. And it was a result of a uh, good field position game. Uh, credit to our coverage teams and our kicker and our punter. Uh, at the same time, we, we benefited from uh, a short field a few times. Giving credit to our return people, Andrew uh, Shaw and Alan Bonner. Uh, I thought we uh, made plays. Uh, still concerned about consistency of running the ball uh, in some situations, even though I feel like our running backs, uh, Calvin's 4.9 yards carry and Jamal's 6.1, so it's not a reflection, just a, it's more of a consistency issue anything else. Uh, uh, there were some plays made, I think, uh, that, that bring attention to some uh, evolving players. Um, uh, Nick Johnson had a great day on the special teams. And I thought James Powell, who really didn't play all that much, had some plays that made a difference uh, also. Um, we're moving to a homecoming game and um, excited about playing at, at home two weeks in a row. Um, expecting, from what I hear, a lot of people here and uh, an opportunity to uh, improve as a football team. Um, I don't think we've uh, surprised ourselves that we've that we're seven and zero, but I do think that we um, still are hungry um, about what the season holds for us and the next challenge, which is an Austin P team that we really had a very difficult time with last year. Um, and I think we've we've probably always had a difficult time with them. Um, uh, Terrence Holt um, is a running back punt return, kick return, going back to the kicking game, who's been hard for us to handle. He's shortened the field for them. Um, he'll be a challenge for us. Uh, and he plays in the backfield with Ryan White, who is, uh, I think, leading the league in rushing, but it, if not, close to it. Um, different this year, they've been almost uh, <coughs> run, run, pass. I think they are more run pass, run pass now. Um, they they have a they seem to develop a lot more uh, confidence in Jake Ryan, their quarterback, who was splitting time last year, but has become uh, a key part of their offense. So uh, thus far this year, uh, we have some. We have some people that there'll be some questions physically about their availability. It's really too early to say um, which ones uh, won't be there. It seems like it's been the same schedule every week or same routine every week as far as that goes. Um, we're just excited to be in a position we're in and uh, look for the opportunity to, to get better. Um, up here with me today, my left is uh, Odie Rush. Odie is from Starkville, Mississippi, <coughs> and uh, came in here in January. Didn't have a scholarship. Really didn't have a promise of a scholarship, right? On faith. And it started every, every game for us. Um, yeah, East Mississippi, East Mississippi Junior College. And he's, I don't know what we had done without him. And he's improved his play and uh, still improving his play. And it's really, he's, a, uh, he's as athletic, maybe the most athletic offensive lineman we've had uh, uh, since uh, Jones. Uh, LeVette. LeVette, yeah. Uh, and 
probably is more athletic than the vet. Um, to the far right is a sophomore, um, Kedgel Harris, and, and Kedgy has uh, been our quarterback in the secondary, making calls. Um, I always make the analogy is that when you go play football, you, it's somewhat like, or you're getting ready to go play football, it's somewhat like going to play a softball or a baseball game. You got to find a backstop first, or you'll be chasing the ball all day. <laughs> and I think the first thing you have to do to play football is find a backstop on the back end of your defense, some, something that's going to keep the ball. Uh, Kedgy gives us that. He can, he can run fast. He's got great range, as you can see. He's you 60 kid. Yes, sir. Um, comes from his family. If people ever heard of Town Creek, um, he comes from a family of fine football players. Dad played Mississippi State. So, you know, he's he's been a bona fide player since he walked in the door. He was uh, highly recruited. We just very fortunate that we got him in Jacksonville State. Um, and then our quarterback, quarterback offense um, is here with us. And I think we we continue to be, and it's, uh, I hope we don't put too much stress on one place, but we can cont continue to be a, a management uh, game. And, and, and uh, Marquez has, has been that game manager for us and made plays, converted third downs, and got us in the right runs and made some runs. And uh, he's, he's obviously made a difference for us, not just on offense, but for our whole football team this year. So those are the three folks that are here. If you have any questions, uh, fire them. Yeah. I know you, you glanced over it and mentioned it. What's because it's early with the injury guys. What, right. what are we looking at? Are we still offensive well, we, line guys again? Or what? Have, part of us in the offensive line, part of us in the defensive line, uh, part of us at running back. Um, and we tried to finish the game last week with uh, with uh, Tig, with uh, Darius Parksdale, and, uh, and and he got better for the experience. Um, but those those are the three areas that, that we're going to be, you know, we're going to be seeing where we are as we go through the week. It's, I mean, it's is really it, too is early. It Calvin's foot again, or is it somebody else? Or I mean, because we're I'm dealing with. Try, I'm being non-specific. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, when that <laughs> most of the most of the most of the uh, injuries are uh, maybe all of them are leg injuries, and you know, we just have to, you know, see how their mobility comes back. At, at least at this point. On Monday, with the game four or five right. days out, any of them at all got a shot of not playing? Uh, we're probably going to be minus one in the offensive line, just just <laughs> as, as a guess. But um, not that one. Not, not the one. That. <laughs> um, we, I tell you, if we hadn't got old, if Odie hadn't walked in here of his own accord, I don't know what we would have done to go back to that. Mm -hmm. You talk about we lost two, three-year, third-year starters at both guards, which we weren't prepared for. Uh, and and Odie, Odie, he's been a salvation for us. Not knowing the scholarship was going to be there. But he, he got it. Walked, well, but he got it. But he got it. How did you end up here? What led you here? Well, my coach on the EMCC was telling me about it, and I looked it up. Because you had some choices. I mean, there's a lot of people who were yeah. trying to get Odie to come. He he didn't have a defining career, but everybody knew he was an athlete in junior college. If, if he had got more playing time, basically. So you weren't really recruited? He didn't get enough playing time over there, to, to, in my opinion, for the caliber of football player he is. People just had a hard time evaluating. Did you say that correctly? Yes, sir.